the visit of the officials of the Ministry of Finance and myself, Uviare, to the victims of the Kosovo Dam spillage in Mepe in the Volta region was truly revealing and sobering. Indeed, we empathize with the families that have been affected and displaced by the spillage. We met victims, townsfolk, children, and the chiefs, and of course, the Honorable Member of Parliament, Okujato, during the visit. Mr. Speaker, government has budgeted an amount of 220 million to support the relief phase for the communities affected by the Akosomo spillage, as well as floods upstream in the Oti, Savannah, and Bono East regions. Mr. Speaker, Honourable Members, Honourable Members, this is for your eyes only. Honourable Members, Mr. Speaker, please, it is not for your mouth, it is for your eyes. So let's go on, let's go on. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, we, we couldn't help but to show a shot of the Honourable Member of Parliament, Okujeto, in this picture. Mr. Speaker, in addition, the Ministry of Finance, after the visit, was quickened to respond. We have requested funding from the World Bank under the IDA Crisis Response Window to support the resettlement of the victims, restoration of livelihoods, compensation, and reconstruction of infrastructure in the affected communities. Mr. Speaker, we recognize the place of climate policy and financing to help address the long-term effects of climate change on victims of drought, flooding, and other adverse weather events. Accordingly, the Ministry has applied to the Global Shield Against Climate Risk Fund, an initiative launched by President Anna Kufu Addo and Chancellor Scholz during the COP27 in Sharm El Sheikh to assess additional financial resources to support communities upstream and downstream of the Akosomo Dam. Thank you.